I want to do a natural nail manicure, but I only live with two people, and that's cameraman and critter. And critter is too grouchy, but cameraman's available. Susie's going to give me my first manicure ever. I did talk him into it. That's my guest today. Let's get started. And now, let me introduce cameraman. I never thought he'd be actually on my videos. Well, we did have some ideas like him doing it, but I need natural nails. So let me introduce cameraman. Hi, cameraman. How are you? I'm good. This is weird that you're there when you're supposed to be there. I'm in the wrong <laughs> spot for sure. It's uncomfortable. Okay. Well, it must be I, weird. I, I, okay, give me your hand. Okay. Okay. So cameraman, of course, has natural nails. He's not wearing acrylic these days or ever. These are untouched. Now, in fact, these are the longest nails I have ever seen on you ever. They are. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a nail biter. I like to orally trim my nails. He doesn't trim them with clippers or a nail file or a file or anything like that. No. But <laughs> but now, because of the new situation, I'm not biting my nails. I'm trying to avoid Oh, because you don't want to put them in your mouth. You don't want to touch your I'm face. A, I'm a little kind of a germaphobe, I think, really. Really? I think so. I never noticed. And now it's like, ee. Yeah, you're a germaphobe. So I'm trying to be real careful. And I'm avoiding biting. So these are what natural nails look like. Now, you may want to do a manicure on the people in your house. So I'm going to walk you through the steps that you would do for a natural nail manicure of everything that you can buy on Amazon. We got them on all on Amazon, didn't we? Yeah. We make sure that we purchase them, everything on Amazon, so you guys can go get them. So... Usually I ask a person if they've ever had a manicure before, but when you live somebody, you might know that information. I usually come at it an, from an educational point of view, but we're in our house now and I'm glad it's you and not Critter because Critter would not put up with this. He is no. not a very, he's beautiful, but he's very temperamental. Yeah. He's That's my a cat. Beautiful cat with an attitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything he's, in this house has an attitude. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. So these are natural nails and the reason why they're great for me to have a set of natural nails is because I can, the first step I can really show you. So every step that we do in professional and even at home, you always start with by washing your hands. So everybody that comes to the table has nice clean hands. Now we've done that, haven't we, cameraman? Yeah, well, the cameraman's washing his hands every 10 uh, minutes, so. <laughs> I'm washing them way too much. <laughs> okay, so I usually start with cleaning up the free edge. And that is all the dry stuff. I kind of do all the dry stuff first, and then I will do the wet stuff. In the old days, we used to soak the hands in warm water. We don't do that anymore, especially for anybody who wants nail polish up. You can want nail polish? I could try some. I mean, maybe at first. In 40 years we've been together, I've never seen it happen, but no. it's going to happen today, I think, I suspect. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah. And um, so what you need is a nice, gentle file. So I have my file kits. You can get them from me, nailcareer.com, and you can get some files there. And what I would use is the fine file. Now, when you're working with natural nails, it's very different. You want to be very gentle with all the layers of the natural nail. Now, you can just relax your hand. I'm not going oh. to hurt you. Yeah, okay. In spite of what you've heard. Okay, so now these are long. You can take a pair of clippers and clip these off. I'm not a big fan of using clippers. Let me see your other hand. I want to see how orally trimmed. Are these orally? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can see the wavering effects of the mm -hmm. oral trimming in the situation here. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. what can I say? You yeah. do a beautiful job in oral trimming. It's normally pretty good, actually. My word. Now, when you're doing a long nail like this, you can go back and forth, but as a general rule, you want to just swipe one way when you're finishing because natural nails are made of a weave. And if you go back and forth like that and leave it, you can fray it all up. So with a natural nail, see that? You can see the dust just flying off. Now, do you want them quite a bit shorter or do you like them? Have you become I need a little shorter there. I kind of left them because we knew we were going to do this. Yeah. They're too long now when I type it's on the keyboard editing and that it's it's too long yeah yeah like i say this is the longest i've ever seen them on you in my entire life it's kind of weird mm -hmm. okay so you can see how much i've taken off this is a fine file and look how easy the natural nail comes off so oh, when i'm you didn't have to use trimmers on it no no or your teeth well like i wasn't my, gonna use my, my teeth, teeth but are stronger than yeah trimmers. no that's awfulness 
Okay. And the reason why that is, is because I'm not a germaphobe, but it's kind of gross to chew because there's a lot of germs and a lot of saliva can get on your fingers and actually cause yeah. a lot of problems. I mean, I've never seen anything on you, but I mean, nail biters will sore, experience it. I've had a couple sore hangnails. I don't, that's a, that could be my response. It could be that. just saliva has a lot of bacteria yeah. in it. So when you do do this, you just file away. You can go back and forth, seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. And then when you're finishing up, you can you just, seesaw the natural nail. Yeah. You can go back and forth, seesaw like that. Back and forth. And then when you're finishing it, you want to go one way when you're finishing. Okay? Uh, when you're ending it off. Okay. Now, maybe I'll just use one finger as an example so we can get going on this guy and show you. Then I'll finish them all for you. And then we'll have a nice finished, finished look at the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now you can do one more step. Now you can get, oh, where's, oh, this one. My Out of my files, you get the smooth and shine file. And on the green side, you can just buff the surface a tiny little bit. I wouldn't do a ton. It just kind of smooths it out a little bit. It's not, That's if soft. it's, I know, super, super soft. Because you don't want to take any layers of your natural nail away. You're just kind of smoothing it ever so little bit. Okay, so now is this part. You can get this on Amazon. You're gonna put the link in there, right, cameraman, so they know yeah. where to get these kind of things? Yeah, there'll be links down in the description. Awesome. So here's this nice little, and this is a pretty one. We bought a really nice one. Yeah, you chose that I one. Like, oh, did remember? I? Yeah, yeah. I we had a couple taste. choices. There were ones that looked more silver, like just regular mm. steel. I like it. And there was this, and you said, let's get that one. It's pretty, looks like gasoline. Okay, so this little shape here, this roundness here, fits into their finger, into a cuticle quite nicely. And you just want to gently push it back. Now, your, yours are not very resistant and you don't really have a lot of overgrowth cuticle that's gone on to the nail much at all. And then you can take this little scrapey guy and you can sort of scrape all the stuff off. Does that hurt? Not at all. No, you don't feel it. No, 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 it's good. Yeah, it's just a gentle little scrape. But you can see all the cuticle there, right? You just sort of getting all that off. Mm -hmm. If you don't want nail polish, this isn't as crucial. If you want nail polish, you really want to clean it up completely because you want to have a nice, smooth, clean surface without any kind of little hiccups to catch your nail polish. So that's why you want to do this. And this is totally for a man's uh, manicure. You do this for anybody's manicure. It doesn't have to be male or female. This is the first for me. I've never never had a that. manicure. That's right. No. I forgot to mention that. No, you've yeah. That's um. It's not actually super obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do a good job with my teeth. Okay. <laughs> I've had a lot of experience. Yeah, I suppose, but yeah. you know, your cuticles aren't like crazy and unruly. I mean, you don't have a manual job either. I mean, you work with your hands in the sense that you're turning a lot of buttons and doing this a lot keyboard. and cables and keyboard. Yeah, but you're not out in like construction and weather and no. dropping. I mean, I do fingers. have a hammer and a saw and I have... Yeah, would you I use that? Use Where is that? In a drawer. In a drawer that's ever open? Yep. Or? Not recently. No. Okay, so now you can get these little nippers and you don't always need to do something like this. You get these little nippers and if a person has a tiny little bit of cuticle, like a little dry piece of cuticle, a hangnail, you can cut a tiny little piece of that off. But it has to be separated cuticle, right? Okay, and then you can get a cuticle remover. We also got this on Amazon as well, didn't we, cameraman? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I just told you, yeah. <laughs> pointed. made a list of things. I pointed, get and I, this. And I hit add to cart, bye. <laughs> okay, so this is a cuticle remover. This softens the cuticle so it's easier to push back, easier to move around. It's just So like you can also do this after you have a shower. It, it softens the cuticle enough to do that. But you just want it and it works in about literally 15 seconds. You just put a little bit on the cuticle area. And if you're going to use this to, for different people over and over, don't touch it to the skin. Just let it drop. Okay. And then you can just see it sort of working. It just sits on the cuticle for about 15 seconds to a minute. 
And all it's doing is just kind of softening the cuticle so you can take it off a little bit easier. That's all. It just feels cool. Yeah. A little bit. It's kind of like a massage, really, if you're doing it right. That seems more um, softer. It's just softening the cuticles for you, so it's just easier to remove. Okay, now something else we can do. So that's taking care of the free edge. That's softening the surface of the natural nail bed. And now that's taking care of the cuticle, making sure it's nicely all cleaned up real nice. And then, this is the part you'll probably like. Well, you may or may not actually, you don't really like hand creams and stuff on your hands. I never use lotion. Well, you're gonna have it now because I'm gonna give you a chance. To, you can smell which one. Oh, you're going to have to open that. Oh, boy. Ooh, oh, I got this gosh. one. That's supposed to be open? Is it? Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so I just bought a couple here. So I bought a couple here. You can keep this hand for a second. Oh, okay. Thanks. I bought a couple, and one is... Uh, there are two different... Well, one's coconut, it looks like. Oh, crushed macadamia and rice milk and pomegranate seeds and shea butter. Do you have a preference? You smell and see which one you might like better. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay, the the browner kind. The browner kind, uh, okay. That's... The crushed macadamia. Oh yes. So what you wanna do, even if it's your home use, just like yogurt in a fridge and stuff, you don't wanna dip into it and use it and like touch your skin to it because if there's any bacteria that gets in it when you close the lid up, it could actually not be very fresh the next time you open it. So get a little bit. Now this is an exfoliator. Now this is an extra step you don't have to do, but it's kind of nice to do. This is an exfoliator. Let's see if you like this part. Kind of want to warm it up in your hands first, and then you're going to put it on. Oh. <laughs> that, that kind of. <laughs> It feels unexpected to me. <laughs> well, you didn't know it was going to happen. No. It's hilarious. I honestly, I was looking at one of the camera angles. <laughs> so I was prepared for it. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have one hand that's not going to have this happen to, and hopefully you'll be able to feel the difference. Some people care about this step. Some people don't. I particularly love it because what it's doing, Karen, man, and you're not aware of and you've never done ever in your entire life, no, and you'll no. probably never do it again. Well, the closest I've been is being in the shower and getting, you know, body lotion or shampoo in my hands. So, well, soap, of course, too. But this, so has this got, is this is my world. This, this is, is kind of do. sandpapery. They got like sand in there or something, right? Well, it, it'd be, you know, it's to exfoliate. Is that a fancy for scraping the skin off? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yes. Exfoliation. Exfoliation. Is the word. New word. Yeah. Okay. So you're exfoliating the skin. What we're doing right now, Karen, is taking off all the dead skin. I don't have any dead skin. Yeah, you do. Everybody does. Oh. And the older we get, the more we should appreciate this because it's revealing the nice new skin underneath. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so now we will go wash our hands. Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm good at that. Yeah. See you in a yes, minute. Yes, he does that all the time. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Let me see. I'm back. Okay, now do you feel, oh, do you feel how smooth those are? Those are, that feels really nice now. Yeah, Can you feel smooth. that? Yeah. Did you f notice that when you were washing your hands or did you just, well, or you just, just playing along? I was just glad to get all that sandy uh, <laughs> cream off. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> such a, no appreciation. <laughs> okay, but you can appreciate how smooth that is. Yeah, let me see. Ooh. Oh, stop it. Give me this head. Okay, now the difference is quite... You know, you can, I can really see the difference. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this isn't for you. This is for them. Okay. Okay. You're just my uh, model. Right. Like I said, him or critter. <laughs> now you want to do the lotion because now you've taken some oils out of the hand and now you want to put some back into the hand. And again, you want to get a little spoon and just take out what you need, right? And whenever I'm doing a massage on someone else, I make sure I take the cream out onto my hands first and massage it onto my hands first. Get it a bit warm, because it is kind of a shock to just put kind of cold <laughs> cream on someone's hands. So this time you're prepared, because you're paying attention. He's not watching right. a camera right now. I'm not looking at it. So it's not going to freak you out. No. 
There you go. It was funny. <laughs> okay, so now you just want to rub this around on their skin. You have never had lotion? No. Never. Like he'll say, my hands are kind of dry. And I'll say, put some lotion on it. And he just... I think I said my hands are dry once. I mean, Maybe that was one time, and I just remembered the one time that he said it. Yeah, you just no. do not care. Seems good. My, my skin's fine. You must hate this then. No, I'm not hating it. Okay. So it's now you just... Chilling. Yeah, well, it's lotion. You're yeah. just massaging okay. it into your you, hands. You use lotion all the time. Every day. All day. I, I love it. That. It just yeah. feels good. I hate the feeling of dry hands. Just hate it. So now you can do a little hand massage if you like. Now it's a little... You have to be creative when you have longer nails. Does that, you, you appreciate Not that? Not really. <laughs> wow, maybe we'll switch. You got the wrong person in this chair. I'm I'm kind of just, uh, I like to just get on the computer. <laughs> but it's a hand massage, doesn't that feel first. nice? Um, not a fan. No. Sorry. Okay. I mean, it's, How about this part, does, does this feel good? Interesting. But... <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> Sorry. Just not... I'm just... Okay. This is um, okay. It's not your thing, but that's okay. You're gonna it's gonna happen not, anyway. I don't I don't dislike it. Yeah. It's just I don't feel like it, my fingers need to be um they feel good. I'm I massage them on the keyboard typing and uh, That's not a massage. No, but you have a, a manicurist in the house and well, you don't it's want me to get used to this because I, I know you wouldn't want me doing no, this. No, I don't want to do this all the time. I like doing fake nails, like acrylic and stuff. Yeah. But this is nice every now and then. It's getting better. I'm starting to it's get. It's getting better. better. Yeah. It's not torture, is it? <laughs> no, no. Oh my goodness, it's that's just hilarious. Un, it's just unusual. <laughs> oh, you're from the old generation. Yeah, probably. The new, the new boys love it. Grant would love this. Yeah. He'd be like, "Oh, that feels nice." Yeah, I haven't seen Grant in a while. No. Not with the social distancing now, but. I miss me, Grant. Yeah. But we talk all the time. Okay, so you massage that in. I might have had a little bit too much because it's still kind of, you know, on there. Okay. That's, now, that's nice. At, my shoulder's a little stiff, though. Could you work oh, on yeah, that? Oh, yeah, don't push it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gee, wow. Thanks. This is about a manicure. It's not about a massage. Well, it is for the hands. So after the massage, you can leave the nails as they are, or you can take the other side of the smooth and shine, which can smooth up the nail. Actually, it can make it shiny like you've got polish on. I like that. You do? You want it nice and shiny? Well, let's try it. Okay. So you just hold the nail and you just literally, oh, there's a little bit of oil on that, but I bet it'll work still. It's kind of like a natural shine. Let me see if I can remove a little bit of the oil. If you want to remove a little bit of the oil, just take a little bit of alcohol on a cotton pad and just remove it off of the nail plate. Okay, you're just literally taking it right off the nail plate. That's isopropyl? Yeah, you don't have to do it on the whole skin or anything. That just makes it so this can, now you can go on the green side and then go on the white side. So we'll do that a little bit. Then switch it over to the white side. See, it makes it kind of nice and shiny. You see it's that? It's got a nice squeaky sound. Yes, <laughs> that's the shiny yeah. part. See that? See in comparison? Oh yeah. This looks very natural. It looks mm -hmm. very nice. Want me to do them all like that? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it shines up really nice. Mm -hmm. No glossy <laughs> top coat necessary. Nope. I like that. I'm a minimalist kind of guy. No, oh, that's what I was going to put on you, though. Top coat? Does yeah, it protect my nails or what? What's, is it just for look? It's, um, well, it doesn't really protect your nails. It just looks nice. Okay, so that gives it a nice natural shine. Look at that. I like that. I like it natural. That's pretty. 
Oh, I was going to put on the hollow taco because in one of the videos you said how you like that. You would wear that. I do that. like it. Well, I would wear that. But I, I thought that. we we're kind of setting example of just the natural. We are manicure. trying to do a natural manicure. Yeah. So we are going to leave it at that. Okay. You know what? For the fact that you have never, like in the 40 years that I've known cameraman, you have never had a manicure ever. Nope. And your cuticles were actually pretty good. Yeah. I don't I'm push actually them back, really surprised. I, we're very rarely do. Do I push them back? No, yeah, they looked really good. Okay, so one more little step you can do. Let's say you just want to have a nice little oil that you massage into the cuticles. Because we are going to leave these. We're not going to do a nail polish. Oh, Lots yeah. Lots of guys love flashy stuff. And it stuff looks and... really good, oh, it's too. Great. It's just not for you. You know, right. obviously, he doesn't even want the hand massage. Well, I'm a busy guy. I don't, <laughs> I don't take time for that in my Lots day. Lots of busy people get them if done. If I get time off, I got to go for a bike ride or something, right? True. To each his own, right? This is to each his own. Forest. You're just a model because you're in the house. Yes. And Critter wouldn't do That's it. That's right. And because social distancing, we can't. That's right. We can't bring anybody else. That's right. So a little bit of oil. This is the Sally Hansen oil. And you just want to get a little bit and just dribble it on the cuticle. And just do it on all the fingers. Does that keep them soft and supple or mm -hmm. something? Yeah. Yeah. And you can just massage it in. Nice. That feels good. <laughs> that's funny okay that's nice look at you you got one nice hand i like it that looks nice let's take Thank a you. look at the review you're very welcome let's take a look at the review <laughs> those look nice that's nice to have a nice manicure oh, yeah. you know what once every 40 years is a good thing oh i'll get it more often you started the trend here no, I'm not doing that. Susie's right. going to be too busy to work on <laughs> nail designs. She's going to be manicuring and massaging mm -mm. my hands. You're only supposed to get them like once every 40 years. Oh, as for far. guys? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I understand. That, for cameramans in particular. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, guys. Catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.